Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 18th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you a space weather update and as well world weather, earthquakes, and we already gave a volcanic activity report last night. If you haven't seen it, please check it out. Having a quick look here, the last 48 hours on our sun, as we did have an M-class solar flare erupt from the sun. Watch the top right imagery there in the last few images. Looking at incoming here, we do have some cresting activity for sure. Left side and right side. And small popping region, southern hemisphere, the left. Looking at outgoing here, and this is where the M-class solar flare was. Watch the left-hand side for that big flash. Right there. M-class solar flare, luckily not Earth-directed, but it will be giving us a blow. And not just a glancing blow, but probably a good... Pretty good blow. And we're already being hit right now, smacked around by over 600 kilometers per second solar winds. Looking at multi spectrum here, also wanted to point out here this cresting activity. It is very active on the backside of the sun right now. No coronal holes to talk about. The one coronal hole that is affecting us right now is turning away and has since diminished right there and that was after a b and c class solar flare on along the equatorial region of our sun having a look at iswa here the space prediction spiral and there is that large solar flare blast m class solar flare and you can see we are the yellow circle and we're gonna get a pretty good little schmack nothing like the brunt of it but this activity is continuing to increase. Looking at solar X-ray flux, slightly elevated. We were at KP6 earlier. South America, Pacific Ocean got smacked around today. This is all with, connected with our magnetic field, everybody. Looking at our real-time solar wind, we topped out at 681 kilometers per second just recently there. But we've been well over 600 kilometers per second for the past day. And that is the coronal hole wind stream, which we were expecting. Having a look at the solar winds as they move around. This is a computer generated model of what our solar winds look like. See all that backside action? That's kind of weird. Having a look at Alaska 2 showing the blast top right hand side right there. We've had a pretty active week. B and C class range players as well as CMEs. Schumann resonance for today, a power of nine. Still a calm buzz. But seismicity across the world has increased. Especially after that Hunga Tonga eruption. Wow. Looking at a power of nine, a quality of 8.1. Well, let's get to earthquakes here. The last 24 hours across the planet... has just recently had a pretty rare earthquake, 2.5 there in Missouri. Activity along the Caribbean plate, but most recent here, a 4.4 in Ashisham, Afghanistan, 4.4. As well, a 5.1 Arabian plate. But the only two earthquakes throughout the whole Eurasia plate right now are these two. And Etna seems to be pretty quiet, although it is erupting. Nothing like what it was a little, some time ago. Now looking along the west ring of fire, very deep earthquakes today through the Philippines and Indonesia. Look at here, 102 kilometer depth, Philippines, 217 Indonesia. 195 kilometer depth there, 187 kilometer depth. So very deep earthquakes all around the Banda Sea. Deep earthquake here, Papua New Guinea, 4.9, 148 kilometer depth. 
4.8 just recently. Pangai, Tonga in the Tonga region. Rare earthquake here, Macquarie Island, 5.1. And as well a 5.2 Pacific Antarctic Ridge. And that's a pretty rare spot for earthquakes as well. Right along the Juan Fernandez plate. It's a micro plate. But we did have a pretty deep earthquake yesterday, uh, 561 kilometer depth, Tonga region. I just wanted to share that with you. That was the deepest earthquake in the past 24 hours since this update. Minor activity through Hawaii today, largest being a 3.5 reported fern forest. Minor activity continues through Alaska. Nothing major to report. Largest earthquake today, United States was a 3.5. California as well, Texas, seeing a 3.0, 2.8. 2.5 there, Steel, Missouri, New Madrid. Minor activity at best. As well, all along the coastline there from Petrolia southward. South America, a lot of deep earthquakes through Chile as well. Equique, Chile, 120 kilometer depth. San Antonio de Cobros, 223 kilometer depth. So activity coming back to South America. Heads up, Central America, and as well, South Sandwich Islands up into Russia. These are like quiet zones. Stay aware and prepared, everybody. Have a plan. No fear here. I'm just showing you what is happening across our planet with earthquakes. And it's up to you to stay aware and prepared and be ready. Have a plan. This is the last seven days for earthquakes across the planet. Interesting activity all across the Western Ring of Fire. Now let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and as well daily events worldwide. Starting out here, home base, Ontario. Big cold high pressure ridge moving in this week. Extreme cold temperatures, minus 20. By the end of the week, by this weekend coming up, minus 21 through Ontario and eastward. And as well, this cold front will be dipping as far south as Florida. Watch for a long line of moisture here to ride the coast of North America throwing the Alberta Clipper right into Newfoundland and Greenland. But this atmospheric river is also going to get cold from the high pressure ridge, snow falling in the Carolinas as well. Snow it will be falling through Albuquerque and down into Mexico. Higher elevations along the West Coast, Pacific Northwest, minor snowfalls. Most of it will be falling through B.C., as a big low penetrates northern BC, splits off and heads into the Hudson Bay, and then right to Greenland. So big high pressure ridge bringing in an Arctic blast to eastern Canada. And look at that atmospheric river stretching from the Gulf of Mexico up into Greenland. This is a long atmospheric river. And this forecast today, there are atmospheric rivers across the planet right now. And it does not surprise me, especially with all of the ash that has been blown into our atmosphere due to the 49 active and erupting volcanoes. So yeah, big system here developing a western Atlantic heading to Newfoundland will bring winter storm conditions. High pressure ridge building in for western Europe keeping most of the moisture at bay and heading towards Greenland in the Atlantic. And that's because most of the energy here for the long range is going to be a winter storm for Eastern Europe and down into the Arabias. Watch for an extreme weather event through Turkey, Greece this week. Strong winds and as well potentially dangerous thunderstorm conditions. Overlooking Russia, very cold high-pressure ridge has sunk straight across the continent and dried things right out. No snowstorms or rain in the forecast. 
systems here coming through Japan out of the Koreas. As well, Taiwan systems here coming out of China. Got a weather system heading into Pakistan this week. We'll bring the snow, snow to higher elevation as well. Rain right along the coastal regions here up into the plateau. And then here's another atmospheric river forming here along the Indian Ocean, right from Indonesia straight to Africa. And right now, parts of Madagascar, Uruguay, most of coastal regions, East Africa, are under flood watches as well. Look at Madagascar. Days and days of rain. Overlooking Australia, big low pressure system kind of stalling there, the northern coast, but will be penetrating the continent in the long range forecast, but not before spreading waves of moisture and possible little system here coming to southeastern Australia, but mostly high pressure ridge dominant this week. Tropical system here developing east of the Fiji Islands. Overlooking the Pacific, a long line of moisture here developing along the equator, you can see. And same thing here. All of this moisture and all of the systems are smashing straight into Alaska. Watch for an uptick in seismicity this week. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains northward, and then we got a big low moving in here to Argentina, Buenos Aires. Thanks everybody for watching today. I'm going to leave you here looking at the northern or the southern hemisphere versus the northern, pointing out the major lows that are spinning across our planet right now. And we have some big ones. And as well, winter is here. Big time. 30 centimeters of snow. 60 centimeters in some areas across Ontario. One of the largest winter storms we've received in years. About two decades. Again, thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.